Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today, yes, we do have a major recall, and it's on a lot of different products. It's affecting a lot of different stores, and the reason I'm bringing it to you is because it's nationwide. This isn't something that's just happening in like one state or just one company it's affecting. This is affecting a lot of different companies, major companies that you need to be aware of. It's also affecting a lot of different food groups. So, with that being said, there's going to end the description below. There will be the links to the FDA. There will also be the link to the article we're going to be reading. So, you can go in and read it and decipher from what you may have in your home that you bought that could be, well, recalled. Let's jump right into it and see what is going on. So, as you see here. We have cheese and yogurt and dairy recall. And here's a list of items linked to this huge listeria outbreak. This is a four-minute read. Uh, it was updated uh, today at noon. This multiple large retailers, including Costco and Trader Joe's, have recalled items containing dairy products from Rizzo Lopez Foods Incorporated due to possible listeria contamination. Initially, it recalled dozens of dairy products last week after an investigation identified them as a source of a multi-state listeria outbreak that led to two deaths and 23 people being hospitalized. Doesn't sound like much fun. And since then, this week, the recall has expanded to include additional products made with the recalled yogurt, sour cream, and cheese, such as dressings, sandwiches, and salad kits. Brands, the products they have recalled in the past week include, look at all this over here, folks. I mean, there is a whole list of all these different products. And you can see uh, a lot of uh, chicken taco kits, uh, fresh salad kits, and all these big stores, I mean, this is just huge. There's a lot of salad. There's also a lot of different uh, sauces and dressings and this kind of stuff right down here. You have a cilantro lime, uh, all these different things here. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg. If you go into, when you scroll down, and you're going to come right to here. For more information about the Pacific product recalls, if you click this link, it brings you to this page, which is going to be in my link below. So all you have to do is just click the link. Um, and it says here, and it lists off all the different companies and everything, and what it, you know, the food that it was in, the product description, and everything else. And as you can see, there are a ton of them. Now, remember, this goes all the way back to last week when this was first discovered. Uh, like you have Whole Foods here, you know. I mean, look at this. This was a thin crust pizza, you know. Uh, that's undeclared milk allergens, you know. I mean, there's just all different types of things that are going on with this. So you have to get in here and you have to do your little research and see what kind of products that you buy in your own home. Now, when we come back here, we come down, they go on to say, they recalled the products from Rizzo Lopez Food Incorporated, were distributed nationwide, and sold under the brand names of all these brand names, as you can see here. And the Whole Foods market name stands out as the biggest one in this list. According to the Food Safety Alert from the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Here's the problem. The scale of the outbreak is likely greater than the current reported numbers as some people recover without medical care and are not tested for listeria, according to the CDC. But the agency is working with the FDA to investigate the outbreak because as of right now, folks, they still do not know where it actually started, where it came from or anything else. Now, if you don't know what listeria is, this little section here will explain it to you. Or you can just go to your local Google and Google it, and it'll tell you what to do. What to do with these recalled products? All right, 
Consumers should check their refrigerators and freezers for the products and dispose of them immediately. They should also clean the refrigerator and any contents or surfaces that may have come in contact with the recalled products, as listeria can survive in the refrigerator and spread to other foods and surfaces, the CDC said. That is very huge, folks. So if you do have these products and they have been opened uh, and you've had them out or anything else, I would highly suggest you clean in everything with a good old-fashioned bleach, like your counters, clean out your refrigerator, take everything out, and clean the refrigerator as much as you can. Hopefully, maybe you didn't even open it yet. Maybe you just put it in the freezer and it froze. Just throw it away. Consumers should contact their healthcare provider immediately if they experience any of the symptoms listed above after eating the recalled dairy products. You know, you can always contact uh, this Rezo Lopez Food Incorporated directly at this 800 number. Uh, I would highly wonder if they actually answer the phone. You know what I'm saying? The biggest thing that I found is this is not the first recall of Rezo Lopez Foods Incorporated products related to Listeria. According to the CDC investigation, the company recalled its age, Kajoda cheese. I probably mispronounced that. I'm sure you all can correct me. In early January, after Hawaii, state officials found Listeria in the product. And that was just back in the beginning of this year. Yeah, this affects a lot of different food products, folks. I mean, uh, and I want everybody to be aware. I don't want people to get sick, you know, or anything else. And so the good thing is, though, I don't think any of these products that are listed here would be something to be a prepper's product, like you're going to be putting away for a while or something like that. Uh, maybe uh, some of the dressings or something because, yeah, they'll last for a little while. Uh, but anything else, I probably, you know, is not going to last that long. Uh, so it's not really a... Uh, you know, a prepper product. But you never know. Uh, some people have certain ways they like to do things and put things away. Maybe they freeze them, freeze dry them or something like that. And who knows? So uh, the moral of the story is I just want people to be aware. I want you to be informed of what is taking place. And the reason I'm bringing this video, because I normally don't do these with some of these uh, um, outbreaks and recalls and stuff like that, as far as that goes, because usually it's it's localized, it's only like one store, one product, and there you go. This is a lot of different products, a lot of different stores, and it's nationwide. So hopefully they can figure out where this started from, which one of these plants from this company, because I'm, I'm assuming if it's going nationwide, they have more than one plant. But somewhere along the way, some of this stuff got cross-contaminated and it, to in order for it to be a nationwide um, problem, it had to be contaminated from multiple sources somewhere. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I just wanted to bring you all this quick video uh, just to bring you up to speed and give you some information and make sure that you're all well prepared. And that's the name of the game information and being prepared and i just want to make sure that nobody gets sick because you really don't need to want to get listeria and just remember if you did have any of these products or something make sure you clean surfaces really well your refrigerator will you well and everything else um use the products that you would like to use if it was me personally i'd probably be using bleach and just trying to make sure i clean it up really good and hopefully you won't have any problems if you do get sick definitely reach out and contact your health care provider uh, you don't want to mess around with this stuff. It can uh, be deadly in the end. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. You all stay safe. You keep prepping and make sure you're staying informed. And until next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.